everyone it's your boy hector welcome back to the channel how's everybody doing i quickly wanted to address um, my last video i kept in the audio of me saying that i was going to upload a vlog of my boy's birthday party but that didn't turn out to work out the way that i wanted not only did a lot of people not show up unfortunately but it was pretty dark in there and i didn't want to waste my whole battery using my flash with my camera but anyways other than that today i wanted to give you guys a different video Today I want to talk about what inspired me to do Twitch or how it all started and how it's going on today. So the way it started was pretty funny. Like at first, I didn't really know what it was and like I really didn't think of much of it and I didn't think I would ever do it. I thought it was like a little dumb at first, but it all started when I was playing Last of Us with my friend Diego and my friend Juan and Vic. We were just playing and he, my friend Diego was telling me he's streaming and I was like, okay, well, I told him like, tell me more about it. Like, what's so great about it? And he told me a little bit more and I was like, you know what? I'll start doing it as well. So I started doing it and sure enough, I started getting like a view or two and I was just like, oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's good. And then I started getting a little bit more and I started getting regulars. It started becoming fun, you know, just getting random people in there. Even if they were there for like five minutes, it felt great having new people, you know, discovering me and getting to chat with me. Uh, after Last of Us, we started playing a lot of Rocket League. And, you know, same thing. People were going in and enjoying the content. And, you know, it just hyped me up every time I see somebody new. And just and not necessarily because, like, you know, just I like, getting views. It's just like, you know new people or regulars it just made me happy um and then shortly after that i started playing gta with my boy sal and i think that is where everything blew up just because of the fact that we were doing things that a lot of people weren't doing on gta at the time uh now gta has made like their versions of all the things we've done on there but it became pretty fun you know you weren't seeing it a lot anywhere and twitch was like sh barely growing so not a, the people are discovering twitch and they want to see gta stuff and sure enough i was there doing all that stuff that they wanted to see it, it was fun i started meeting like a lot of people even those people that i met um during these times i'm still friends with and pretty close with them still it got pretty crazy, actually. <laughs> we were staying up to, like, maybe 7 in the morning. So, a lot of the times, I was meeting people from, like, the UK or just anywhere out of the States. And anyone that was in the States, where they're, <laughs> they're just wild for staying up that late. There was a little bit of drama, not with me, but with the players I was playing with. I'm not going to go into names, but some of you guys, OG players, know who I'm talking about. But some people got cut off. Um, you know, there's a lot of toxicity. Thankfully, yeah, I had no beef with anyone, and I still don't. Um, I try not to get anything. I mean, when it comes to playing with anyone, I try not to take anything serious. You know, it's all fun and games. But some people just take it to the extreme, and obviously those that do don't last very long. I was going re uh, pretty rapidly. It was crazy. I didn't ever think I would even get to 100 followers, if I'm being honest. It was a almost towards the end of 2015 when i hit my milestone at a thousand followers and man my mind was blown it was it was a pretty emotional moment i'm not gonna lie and from there you know i was blowing up pretty quick you know i was getting a good amount of followers each day it felt great you know seeing more people seeing a lot of regulars like a lot of regulars were coming like as soon as i popped open the stream a lot of people were coming in they're like hey hellstorm <laughs> my old name on there well it's still my psa name but it's what the ogs remember me as <laughs> i just wanted to change up the name you know after all this while it's still my og psn name i'm never going to change that for sure but towards the end of 2015 i don't know i just it's not that i wasn't feeling the stream anymore it's just me personally i wasn't feeling right um i started to feel like you know a lot of people are accomplishing things like, you know, finishing school and doing stuff with their lives. And I felt like I wasn't doing much with my life. And I didn't feel like I had the support at the time to make me feel like I'm doing the right thing. And like I said, Twitch wasn't known that big back then. So a lot of people didn't know that 
one, you can get money out of it, and two, you can make a career out of it. So, I don't know. I felt like a lot of people maybe thought that I was, like, wasting my time playing video games, not doing much, and, you know, having an emotional level. Um, And it was never, like, about, oh, I want to get money out of this. It was just, like, you know, I was having fun. Like, if I could make a career out of this, you know, that'd be great because I was just having fun, and that's, like, the base point out of it. It wasn't because I was trying to be the most competitive player, not the most viewed player. It's just I wanted to have fun and have a audience there to have fun with, you know. I don't have an audience there that just watches there and doesn't care. I want to have an audience that, you know, comes back and, you know, are excited as much as I am excited to see them. So 26, 2016 started pretty rough. Um, I'm not going to get too into it, but pretty much some of the highlights was just, like, you know, I was going to, through a pretty depressional phase, like, I guess. Um, I really didn't want to do much. Uh, and throughout that time I was streaming, I wasn't really keeping up with uh, with what I was eating and just, I wasn't checking, uh, I wasn't checking out with my health. Like, you know, I was getting out of work pretty late. So I went to Jack in the Box and got my meals, not counting what I would eat at work. So a lot was building up and I was sleeping pretty late, not really getting that much sleep. I was looking up like at 1 p.m. and stuff, you know, it was a pretty bad habit and I gained a lot of weight, and somebody made a fat joke out of me, and I, that's when it, like, it really hit me. I was like, oof, I I guess I am. <laughs> I guess I did get really fat. But, yeah, so then I was focused on trying to lose weight and also trying to figure out what to do with my life. So I ended up going to an automotive school, like a training program, for like six months. And that's why it also took my time away from streaming um well both all those things combined the weight gain and just trying to do something else with my life that would you know make others happy that i'm doing something with my life and just i just didn't have the time to stream anymore and you know i felt pretty bad there in that time too because you know obviously wanted to play and give the followers more content my viewers you know those loyal fan base in that I had, <laughs> uh, they they were asking me all the stuff like when am I gonna stream again? What's going on? What happened? And, you know, I kind of feel shitty, but some I would ignore, and some I would just say like I don't have time, and I don't know. I kind of want to just go back to 2016 and slap me across the face and tell myself that you know, get your shit together. You got this. Just keep pushing forward. Fortunately, I didn't have that momentum or that support to help me out to push forward. So. I started going to school and work. So I was going to school from like eight to three and I had an hour gap to go home, eat, change and get to work as soon as I can while there was traffic and get to work. And I was getting to work like five to 10 minutes late. So they were getting on my ass about that too. So all around, I just felt bad. And then the school I was going to, the instructor, it was, it was pretty bad, honestly, all around. <laughs> um, you didn't really care what you did with your time as long as you know you're there he's getting his money regardless and it was just a bad experience all around there i don't think anyone that came out of there is happy that they went there <laughs> um so th then and there i would pop up like short little streams you know expecting everybody to come back but obviously that wasn't the case either people moved on or they probably followed me or they just don't care enough to come back, you know, and some people did, and some people still do, you know, they, they believe in me still, uh, from 2016 to, like, 2018, I was doing short little streams, like, probably all together throughout those two years, I probably streamed, like, a total of, like, maybe 10 times or less, by that time, I kind of gave up on streaming, and didn't think I would ever be able to, you know, get back to that ever again, and Fortnite came out, and I streamed that for a little bit, you know, because it was fun. <laughs> it was fun at first, but shortly then I started realizing this isn't what I want. And then now I have my own game room, so kind of I can't really make excuses not to stream anymore. So I'm kind of happy I have this now. It gives me a lot of freedom and a lot of space to stream in here. So I can't really make that many excuses. And then with my work now, I have a lot of free time. So I'm able to stream as much as I can, like 
whenever I can, pretty much. Um, I really didn't want to get back into streaming again because, you know, I just felt like I wasn't going to be able to, you know, do it anymore. Like, it's just, you know, after you get so many people in there that, you know, would come back to watch you. A lot of people are excited to come and watch you, you know, from going from, like, I don't know, like, 20 regulars all the time, at least to like only like two it kind of felt like shitty you know you pretty much hit rock bottom at the start from the beginning but you know i have those that support me still and say that i can still do it you know i can still get back to how it used to be so big shout out to adrian hannah sam and especially my wife they'll support me and feel like i can do it again and that's pretty much how i got back into streaming you know from their support it really means a lot to me that they still believe in me but yeah here i am today uh hopefully this is uh motivational to you guys or you guys enjoyed this little story i was debating on making a video of this just because i don't know if it was going to be entertaining enough or you guys would care but you know why not why not talk about it you know some people don't know what happened some people don't know the whole story of how i started streaming and then where i am today but yeah, it's pretty crazy now. <laughs> it's, it's especially kind of like s scary trying to stream nowadays just because the platform has become a lot bigger and a lot of people are more focused on the bigger streamers now. Like back then when I was streaming GTA, I was like in the top three viewers. Now it's like impossible to get there now. <laughs> but it's whatever. You know what I mean? It. I'm not doing it just to, you know, for clout or just trying to get money or anything like that i'm just trying to have fun and you know regulars that's what i want i just enjoy having regulars in there and just talking to new people you know it's fun and it's exciting and that pretty much wraps up this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know it's all over the place i should have probably like written something out but i just wanted to speak this out of my heart and yeah like i said guys i'll i'm sorry about that video of eric's party <laughs> Yeah, it didn't turn out to go as planned, but, you know, there's always next time. <laughs> but ha uh, if you guys want to call me happy late birthday to my friend Eric, go ahead. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.